Hi, my name is Arthur Bailey, Director of Communications at Samsung Electronics America. Yes, well, how is big data transforming the e-commerce industry? Well, data runs our lives nowadays. Everything, we wouldn't think of taking a trip without Google Maps or Waves. Well, in the, in the e-commerce industry, it's the same. We need to know what type of customers are visiting our stores, whether it's online or in the big box stores. Big box stores are now turning into retail shops where you display your product and people order online. So people need a full omni-channel experience with e-commerce and big data enables that. So a perfect example of where big data is doing magic in e-commerce and retail is location data. So you think about, you have a display outside of, inside of your window or outside of your building. When your store is closed, it's just, you're not doing anything, but you could actually use those displays nowadays to actually collect information on the amount of people and patrons that are passing your shop and then help you better target in terms of your advertising, but also in terms of your marketing. Um, another example of how big data is influencing e-commerce is just the ability for customers to actually get a full unique experience when they come into the store based on either their rewards program with the company or having an application on their phone. So they get a more personalized experience when they come in the store. But it's the data analytics on the back end that allows the retail organization to deliver that. So when you think about what other cases where e-commerce and big data come together, it's specifically in terms of Discovery, discovery phase in terms of customers. Big data is used in most of the websites nowadays in terms of when you look at a page, how long you spend time on a page, and that analytics is fed back into the co company and so that they can better target their customers and better realize and utilize the data to better give customers what they want when they have the purchase experience either online or in the retail shop. Okay, so the question is whether or not big data is just for the big guys. And the reality is that's not, that's not the case. There are many tools nowadays, automated AI tools, that literally enable a small business or a big company to ask the right questions and actually get big data analytics. A lot of companies, Microsoft and others, have solutions where you can actually buy data from other people, combine it with your data, and get answers for your business. And so it's not just a, a big player's game now. It's just being able to ask the right questions and using the right tools. Okay, so the question is around how many big brands or even small brands have successfully deployed big data? Well, there's a plethora of examples of that. People are using big data on the show floor in terms of cameras. Uh, Samsung has a smart shop app that uses cameras to analyze the hotspots to place products. Others are using big data in terms of enabling their sales force to actually service the customer any place in the store. Instead of having just to go to the register, the customer can be serviced anywhere in the store based on having the types of tools that enable those types of analytics. So um, when you think about what brands are using big data, Samsung is a perfect example. You know, We have ruggedized phones, we have phones that enable all kinds of applications with our partners, and that data, depending on customer's opt-in or just for the sales force, is enabled to deliver a more better robust experience, both for the sales force, the frontline worker, but also for the customer. Okay, so when you think about what are the advantages of big data for an enterprise or even a small business, you can't really move your business if you don't have answers. And data in general gives you the ability to have answers. Now the challenge is you need to ask the right question. And so data analytics, and particularly automated data analytics, now enable you to not only ask the right questions, but to pull from multiple data sources to enhance your business, to enhance your customer experience, and in the end, obviously, to increase your sales. So when you think about what are the top five advantages of big data, one would be customer experience. Two would be omni-channel shopping. Three would be the ability to deliver in any location to the customer the full sales capabilities of your company. Four, it's just being able to have the right answers to your analytical questions and be successful at your company. And five, obviously the biggest advantage of big data is the ability to sell more products by better targeting your customers. When you think about what technology trends are gonna have the most impact in retail, I think it's gonna be AI. So the ability to take data and actually use AI to give answers. So instead of having just to have data analysts and data scientists and hire new workers, using formulas and tools that enable you to deliver big data answers without spending money on hiring a new staff and just using cloud-based solutions.
So when you think about how retailers need to prepare themselves for big data, the real lowest hanging fruit is bringing digital transformation to the frontline worker. And by frontline worker, I mean the staff in the retail store, I mean the worker who's delivering packages from a logistics company, really giving them the tools, whether it's a device like the Samsung X Cover Pro or some other device, giving them the tools to actually access the back office and deliver a better experience and quicker sales and quicker um, monetization for the company. So Samsung is helping retailers in a variety of ways. Here at NRF, we're showing off our displays, which not only have the capability of being very vibrant and inviting for the customer, but also have the ability to have built-in tools to allow visual analytics. Um, so for example, you can imagine putting in a camera to see what products the customer is touching. Um, you'll also have um, the capability to use our mobile devices for tools for point of sales. So nowadays we're working with Visa where you can tap the phone just with your credit card and do a sale. So Samsung's delivering the hardware, but also the platform for enabling a more robust customer experience, both at the point of sale, but also online. So when you think about personalizing your experience, this is where artificial intelligence and AI will play a really, really big role. It is a artificial intelligence in AI is gonna enable retailers to really, really target based on the customer's use cases, how they, how they interact with the brand online, how much time they spend with the brand online to really, really tailor their, their experience. Not always trying to sell the customer, but sometimes just making sure the customer stays informed and as a result, stays closely tied to the brand. Probably one of the biggest trends I see emerging in retail in 2020 is actually bringing digital transformation to the frontline worker. When you think about it, Back office computing has always been there. The cloud has been there for the back office, but actually delivering tools that bring the frontline worker and the back office together is gonna to be a really, really big trend in 2020. And I see some of the collaborations that, for example, Samsung has with Microsoft is really, really gonna drive that. 